When moving abroad, one of the problems you have to figure out is how the heck am I going to get my mail? Well, in my case, I've been living in Mexico for over five years and I have a solution for that that I'm going to show you in this video. But also, for those of us living in Mexico, we cannot get many supplements, vitamins, medications, things like that here. So I'm also going to give you a solution to receive those things here in Mexico as well. When it comes to receiving mail in the US, I've been using the same service for over five years. The whole time I've been living in Mexico, I'm super happy with the service. It's called Traveling Mailbox. So what this company does is they give you an address in the US that you can share with your banks and whoever else needs your address. And then all of your mail is sent there. And as soon as they receive it, they scan it and post it on your online portal, send you an email saying you received mail, and you can view it in their online portal or in their app. So this is really great because you always forever have that digital scan of the mail you received, and they'll keep the actual physical copy of that for 30 days unless you request for them to forward it to you or request for them to hold on to that physical copy for a longer period of time. They also do some other services, like let's say you need a replacement credit card or debit card sent to you. Well, here where I am in Mexico, I can usually get that sent to me within three business days. Like I receive the card within three business days of them receiving it at my address. And they usually cost somewhere in the range of $20. So it's not super cheap, but you get it really fast. And this service starts at $15 a month for the basic plan. And I think the basic plan is going to be fine for most people. And if you pay annually, you get two months free. So it becomes $150 for the year. And over the course of the five years that I've been using this company, I don't think they've raised the prices once, which is awesome. And also for an additional fee, they'll do things like depositing checks and uh, forwarding packages and things like that. This service has been so incredibly valuable to me. As long as I'm living abroad, I'll continue renewing my subscription. I've never even considered canceling. Heck, even if I was living in the US, I might keep this service because let's say I'm traveling and I want to be seeing if I'm getting any important mail. Well, then I can see that online when I'm traveling or like I was talking to a truck driver once who says he uses his service to be able to see his mail while he's on the road. If this service interests you, a way you can support the channel at no extra cost to you is to sign up through my link. I'll provide that link in the description below and in the comments section. Of course, it's not required, but if you do, it is very much appreciated. Now let's talk about how to get things like medications, vitamins, supplements, and other things like that that you cannot buy here in Mexico nor get shipped here. If you're planning to live in Mexico like me, well, Mexico is really weird when it comes to medications, supplements, vitamins, anything like that. But another good solution for you is if you're going to be living in one of these expat destinations, one of these cities that has a high population of foreigners, well, in almost every single one of these cities, there's somebody there who's offering a service where they give you an address in Texas, typically it's Laredo, Texas, and then you have your stuff sent to Laredo, and then their service drives it from Laredo to whatever city you're living in. Let's say it's Puerto Vallarta, San Miguel, Ajijic, one of those. And when it comes to vitamins, supplements, medications, Mexico, for whatever reason, has no problem with them being driven across the border or bringing them here in your luggage or anything like that. But they do have a problem with it being sent here. So that's how you can easily get those restricted items to yourself wherever you're living. Now, how are you going to find a company that provides a service? Go into a Facebook group for wherever it is that you're going to be living. Let's say you're going to be living in Ajijic, search Facebook for Ajijic, expats and then ask in that group or search in that group if there's anyone who provides that service and you'll uh, have people letting you know what your options are there. For example, where I'm living here in Queretaro, I don't know of any company that does it specifically for Queretaro. However, San Miguel de Allende is about an hour drive away and there's two companies that I know of there that do this service. And the one I'm currently using is called uh, San Miguel Solutions. You know, it's kind of expensive. I get charged $11 every single month plus like I think 25 or 30% of the value of every package that they deliver here. But it's really a lifesaver for those items that I cannot get here in Mexico. And sometimes it even makes sense to shop online and have items sent there, even with all those additional fees. Like for example, I wanted to buy a vacuum cleaner and the vacuum cleaner I wanted was like 200 or $250 here. But I found a similar one in the US 
on sale for $89. Well, I had to pay that $89, then the sales tax to have it sent to Texas, and then an additional 25 or 30% or something to have it sent to San Miguel. So still, even after all those fees, it came out to significantly less than it would have cost me buying it here. So that's another use case for that service as well.